Bengaluru's own Jeko Lake is home to these beautiful migratory birds. And it's all thanks to the efforts of the people around here. How? Well, let's find out. Today, I'm with the founder of Jala Portion. Uh, in 2008, uh, this lake was rejuvenated by BDA. And then once the BDA left the lake, you know, because they finished their project and they wound up, that's when we saw a lot of garbage coming in. Like once a whole load of dead chickens was dumped into the lake, once there was a whole truckload of sanitary waste, diapers and pads, dispense expired medicines, then people said, you know, just cleaning may not help. Why don't we do something more, you know? We uh, had an MOU. That is a memorandum of understanding with BBN. And today it's a trust of citizens who represent uh, in and around this area. This 160 acre water body, Jako Lake, is a biodiversity hotspot. The lake is home to numerous migratory birds with over 200 species of observed birds. Along with that, the proactive people residing around the lake have planted specific trees to provide food and nesting spaces for these winged guests. So now, these areas have become primary spots to sight birds like painted storks, spot-billed pelicans, Eurasian coot and the grey-headed swamp hen among other beautiful species. The residents did not just stop at the birds. They have planted medicinal plants for their own use, aromatic plants for pollinators to breed and grow and also a permaculture garden that grows berries to veggies. I would like to show you something interesting. So this is you know, an ancient way of drip irrigation. So, you know, you put pots inside the mud and put water in it and close it. So then what happens is, you know, in and around that plants will, through capillary action, pull this water. So, you know, these kind of uh, things that were naturally done before is what we are trying to bring back to the lake rather than use uh, the modern plastic stuff. Jakur is a model lake not only for the state but also for the nation for you know two three different aspects. We have a constructed wetland you can see it there okay so the, what happens is this uh, you know treated water as well as the inlet water comes into the wetland. Wetland is nothing but a natural filter so the plants in the wetland filter the water and only the filtered water comes to the main water body. To sustain the efforts every Saturday morning between 7 to 8 30 a.m. The self-help group, Shramadan, has a meetup. Whatever Monday to Friday we've not been able to achieve is pulled on a Saturday and in a bigger group we try to achieve and finish that. But regularly maintenance happens through a self-help group of women called Jalsevika. So they are there throughout the month. Jakko Lake is a prime example of citizens coming together for a greater good. It's uh, citizens who are beneficiaries of the lake, right? So they have to be a little responsible for their lakes. You know, they cannot say that somebody has to come and maintain the lake and I will you know, benefit from it. So that is the thought that uh, Jal Potion works with. All of us feel that why not we take responsibility for our lake and we are blessed with a beautiful lake so I think it's but natural that we take responsibility for it.